This is the grade 12 question paper. The electric circuit with an internal resistance. Right. Um, let's read the statement. It says an 8 ohm resistor, a light bulb and a rheostat are connected to 8.4 volt battery. As we can see, this is the rheostat and this is the 8 ohm resistor and a bulb um, are connected to this battery. This battery's EMF is 8.4. It says with an internal resistance of 0 0.4 shown in the circuit diagram below. The power of the light bulb is 8.1 watts. The rheostat is changed until the ammeter shows the reading of 1.5 when the switch is closed. Okay guys, <clears throat> this is the circuit. It contains um, the rheostat. What is the rheostat? Rheostat is a variable resistor. It's a resistor that you can alter. Resistor that you can change. Um, you can decrease its resistance, you can increase it, right? Now, guys, when you see a question paper with this, <coughs> and uh, this, um, that means it has an internal resistance, right? Okay, um, look at my other videos about the internal resistance. What is it? Now, guys, the first thing that I always encourage you to do is to follow the current in the circuit from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. So the current it from the positive terminal, it passes there. And then when it gets in that junction, there, there's a split. It's a total current here, guys. It is a total current. It's undivided there. And then it divides the other fraction. It goes in this way. And the other fraction will go that way. Right? So um, there's a current that passes here. And then it combines again. And it passes in this ammeter. So this ammeter, it reads the combination, the combination there. So it's a total current. Even in this light bulb, the current that passes there. That's the total current and we're given the power there. And what is the power? Power, it's a rate in which the energy is transferred. And then um, it passes there. Let's say that switch is closed. And again, it does that. So guys, this voltmeter here is connected across the terminals of the battery. When there's no current, it reads the, what? the EMF. And when the switch is open there, um, it reads EMF when the switch is closed today it reads the V external which is the V load all the time guys now <clears throat> in 9.1 it says um, calculate the resistance of the light bulb it's very important to note what you have in the light bulb in the light bulb guys here you are given the power you are given um, the current Guys, it says the reuse that inches until uh, 1.5 ammeter. So the current that is read here, it's 1.5, which is it's the current that will also pass through the light bulb. So the light bulb, it has the power and the, the current there. So to calculate that, you calculate based on what you have, 9.1. So we have power, which is 8.1 watts. And we looking for a resistance and we have the current today, which is the total current. It's 1.5 amperes. So we will use the formula of power that says P is equal to I squared times R. Because we are we have that, we have the current, we are looking for a resistance. That's why we use that. The power, it's 8.1. And the current, it's 1.5. But we should square it times R. And then we'll divide by 1.5 square both sides. 1.5 square both sides. So this will cancel. You have R there. So in the calculator, when you punch 8.1 divide by um, 1.5 square, it's 1.5 square. It will be 3.6. 3.6 ohms. So the resistance of the bulb, it's 3.6 ohms. Now, 9.2, 9.2, it says, um, calculate the, resist the resistance of the rheostat when the reading of an ammeter is 1.5. So again, this ammeter reads 1.5. We want the reading, the, 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 the resistance of that rheostat which gives us the, the the current of 1.5 so guys 
Now, the first thing that you need to do, this rheostat is connected in parallel with this one, if you see there. And there's also a series resistance there in the external resistance. So, how about we can't find this in any how. So, the, 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 the best way to do this is to first calculate the total resistance of external, the external resistance, right? The external resistance, how are we going to calculate it? 9.2. We will use the formula of an EMF. EMF is equal to current multiplied by external resistance plus the internal resistance. So we're going to calculate that. So guys, we do have the EMF. The EMF, we're told there, it's 8.4. And the total current there is 1.5. We do have it. We are looking for that. And the internal resistance, we have that. Guys, I'll show you what we're going to do with the external resistance. Now, the EMF there, it's 8.4. 8.4, right? And the, the current, it's 1.5. And we're looking for the external resistance plus the internal resistance is 0 0.4. So, what do we do here? We divide by 1.5 both sides. So, this and this will cancel. You have R external plus 0 0.4 is equal to 8.4 um, divided by 1.5. In my calculator is 5.6. And then I transpose this to this side. You have R external is equal to 5.6 minus 0 0.4 so our R external here it's going to be uh, 5.4 minus 0 0.4 it's 5.2 so our R external it's 5.2 so having that 5.2 so what we can do now with the R external what are we going to do with the R external? The R external, guys, it's made up of parallel. The resistors external, it's made up of parallel plus this series. So R external is equal to um, R parallel plus R series. Right? So, guys, the R external is made up of parallel and R series. We're going to look for the parallel resistance and we can't find it because this is an unknown so how are we going to do that how are we going to do that we are going to use um, the r external and r series to get the r parallel which is the resistance effective resistance in parallel there which includes the rheostats that we want so the R external, what we have is, the R external is 5.2, and the RP is the one that we're looking for, and the R series, which is the resistance of the bulb, is 3.6, and then we will have resistors in parallel is going to be 5.2 minus 3.6, which is 5.2 minus 3.6, it's going to be 1.6 ohms. So the resistance here in the parallel section is it's 1.6. But now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to find this resistance of the rheostat. So how are we going to do that? We're going to we are going to say 1 over Rp is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And then it's going to be 1 over 1.6. 1 over, let's say R1 is the, is the rheostat, and then R2 is the 8 ohm resistor, so 1 over 8, so we are going to have 1 over R1 is equal to 1 over 1.6 minus 1.8, I transpose that to that side, so it's going to be 1 over R1 equal to Okay, just punch that in the calculator. That's very easy. You say 1 over uh, 1.6 minus 1 minus 1 over 1 1.8.
So it's one over two. It's one over two, the answer there. So you you we are looking for R1. So you're going to invert. So it's going to be two over one, which is going to be two ohms. So the real start its resistance is two ohms there. Okay. The next question, next question, it says now, it says the real static is changed so that uh, the resistance has increased dramatically. So the real start has increased. So if the real start has increased, that means, um, that means that the, this resistance the real stud has been increased its resistance, right? Okay. Now, the question, it says, how will the following be influenced? Uh, write down increase or decrease or remain the same. So how are these going to be influenced when these are, um, when the real stud has increased? Now, the first thing that they're looking for, they're looking for the total resistance. How is the total resistance is going to be um, influenced by the change of that? So, the total resistance, let's look at that. The answer here needs to be decreased or increased, but I'm going to show you even in calculation how we're going to approach this. So, guys, the real start, the real start is what is 2 its resistance it's two so um, in order to calculate the total resistance here you're going to have um, a two times eight over two plus eight which is it's going to be 16 over 10 which is going to be 1.6 and then 1.6 plus the resistance of the bulb it's going to be um, plus 3.6 plus 3.6 it's going to be um, the answer it's going to be 5.2 this is the total resistance right this is the total resistance now when the real stat has increased let's say it's three now since it's two let's say it's three we're going to have three um, times eight over two plus eight so i'm calculating the parallel one so it's three times eight divided by two three sorry it's three here divide by three plus eight so it's going to be 2.181 and then we add the resistance we're calculating the total 3.6 so we add the 3.6 So if we add the 3.6 here, so it's going to be 5.7, 5.78. Do you see the total resistance has increased if you increase the, 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 the real start, the resistance of the real start. So the total resistance increases. So the answer here, it's going to be what? Increase. increases and the emf they're asking what's going to happen to an emf the emf guys remain the same the emf um the emf and the internal resistance they remain the same now they're asking and they're reading in v1 What's happening in the reading in V1? Remember, guys, there's a current here. I told you that the reading in V1, it reads what? The V external or the V load or the V terminal. Guys, if the total resistance has increased, um, that means the total current is going to decrease. So if the total current... Okay, guys, let me write it here. Let me write it here. If the total resistance here increases therefore that means the total current will decrease because they invest the proportional so if the total current decreases that means 
the V internal will decrease as well because they directly proportional. And if the V internal decreases, the V external, which is V1, will what? Will increase while the EMF and the internal resistance remain what? The same. They are unchanged. Right? Total resistance increases. Total current decreases, V internal decreases, and the V external, which is V1, the one it's asked in 9.3.1, it's going to be what? It's going to increase. So the answer here is increase. Yeah, the answer is what here? And is increase.